Skyler here at the um, Surf Prep Lab in Lake Elsinore, California. The, the purpose for this video is to share and uh, uh, discuss with you the importance of clean sanding. What we have here is we have a Surf Prep downdraft table. We have the central vacuum sanders. I have an electric sander and an air sander and you'll notice that I've got vacuum holes on both the sanders. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to sand this five piece door. We're going to sand it with the downdraft table on. We're going to sand it without the downdraft table on. We're going to sand this um, piece with the both the central vac sanders on and we're also going to uh, sand with them on with the downdraft table on. The purpose behind this is I want you to be able to see the substrate that we're sanding, I want you to see where all the powder and the dust goes. And I want you to be able to um, see firsthand, does a downdraft table do the job in removing all that sanded dust? Or do you also need the central vacuum sanding? So hope to be able to answer some of those questions for you. What I'm first going to do is I'm gonna turn the downdraft table on so you'll hear some uh, fan noise, uh, a vacuuming suction and I'm gonna sand with the sander in the auto mode. Over here, we've got um, the Surf Prep dual operator vacuum, and uh, I've got an air line plugged into the head here, and I have the electric cord plugged into the head here, and uh, so we're gonna be able to run both the air and the electric. But first, let's go ahead and let's turn the downdraft table on and I'm gonna run the five inch, this is a 180 grit hook and loop piece of uh, uh, sandpaper. It's a pa paper backed surf prep sanding disc. And we're gonna run it on this door with the downdraft on and the vacuum. Actually, when I hit the throttle, uh, you'll hear the vacuum engage and start up. So we're gonna start, we'll turn this on and... So the downdraft is on and I'm gonna start sanding. There's no dust whatsoever, no sanding dust at all floating around on this surface. Now I'm going to stop and I'm going to turn the downdraft table off. The downdraft table is off. Now we're just going to sand with the central vac um, on the sander and the vacuum will be drawing the sanded dust up from the surface. <laughs> As you'll notice, there's no dust flying around in the air. So the purpose in this was to show you that when we're running central vacuum on either a 5 inch or a 3 by 4, we are picking up all of the dust. Um, a lot of you probably are familiar with this thing. Not a bad thing to have around, but in the summer, months in the south there's a lot of humidity a lot of wetness um, i've spent a lot of time in thousands of accounts where you go into a shop in the summer and the humidity is so bad that wearing a dust mask a dust mask can be frustrating so what we want to do is create an environment where while you're sanding you don't necessarily need one of these so you were able to see the difference there in how we're able to pick up the dust even with the downdraft table off. I'm gonna go over and turn the vacuum off now because I want you to see how much powder is created while we're sanding and you'll see that what we're doing is regrinding the sanding dust, in this case uh, an oak door, um, a red oak door, you'll see how we're re-sanding the, the dust back into the surface. So my vacuum is off and I'm just gonna now sand. <laughs> If you can see this, that's how much dust is still on there without the central vac on. Now, watch this. I'm going to turn on the downdraft table. The downdraft table's on. There's, there's not enough draw 
through the grate in the top of the plate here to pull the dust over down into the downdraft table. Now, if I'm sanding on the edge with a downdraft table, I still have all that dust on here, and you may have seen the waterfall effect where dust was being drawn back down into there. I'm gonna go turn my two operator vacuum back on. I'm gonna turn my downdraft table off, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna pick all that dust up now. So I'm putting this back in the auto mode. The auto mode on our uh, two operator vacuum, it's awesome because <clears throat> you can run two air sanders, doesn't matter what type, or you can run two electric sanders, doesn't matter five inch or three by four, and whether it's air or electric, it automatically sends a signal once you depress the throttle lever to engage the head. Now, my vacuum is back on, and I am going to show you by hitting the throttle lever the central back feature. We're going to dust this up and then I'm going to sand and pick all this dust up. Oh! I just dusted that whole surface. Now if you observe and watch. I'm picking all of that dust up. So that will be the case with a five inch air, five inch electric, three by four air, or three by four electric. Hopefully that there gives you an idea of um, the importance of central vac and the difference in uh, downdraft tables. Nothing wrong with downdraft tables, but if you are sanding, you wanna pick all of that material up. We're gonna jump over to the three by four electric now, and I'm gonna put a half inch um, foam, surf prep foam pad. This happens to be super fine. And I'm gonna take this five piece door here, drop that down here, and we're gonna get um, this door here, and we're going to sand with the electric sander. I'm first going to do this with the vacuum off. So I'm gonna turn the vacuum off, vacuum is off, <clears throat> and what I wanna illustrate here is you will start to see a, um, a blizzard, a snowfall blizzard of primer build up underneath the pad. Man, this tool is so smooth, she just floats. You've probably seen us demonstrate the tool with one finger. I'm gonna lift this door up. You're gonna see the powder from the primer there. You can even see it kind of airborne as well. Now, I'm gonna go turn my vacuum on and show you how we're gonna clean sand and pick all of this up. Vacuum is on. And you can see the difference there in the clean sanding. It's real important when you are sanding that you don't leave that sanded dust on the surface of the door because what's happening is the material you're sanding builds up between the face of the abrasive on the pad and the part you're sanding. So in essence, what you're doing is you're reintroducing that sanded dust back into the part and you can get some random scratching, that type of thing uh, going on there. So that's what I wanted to cover was to hopefully help you understand and answer those questions where a lot of people have been calling in and asking about, you know, do I need a downdraft table? Uh, do I need the central vacuum in conjunction with it? Should I use the two together? 
you can do that. But optimally, using just the central vacuum and not even having the downdraft, you're going to be able to pick up all that sand and material, have a clean surface, not have to worry about wearing a dust mask, and you're uh, moving in a direction of lean sanding, you're saving cleanup time, you're not sweeping the floor, you don't have um, you know, dust going everywhere. So that is um, central vac versus downdraft table uh, sanding from surf prep.